Hey guys, so as you can tell by the title of this video, this is going to be a review, but I just want to let you guys know that I'm uh, wearing this outfit in one, two, three, four, four different videos plus a get ready with me, which is not up yet. So give me a second. The camera got a little off. Okay, sorry. Um, but I have uh, mascara eyelashes, brushes, and the Get Ready With Me. Um, all of the reviews will be linked down below, but just look out for the Get Ready With Me because it is not up yet. It'll be up after these. Um, of course, I always say, put this on before you start filming, and then I just, like, go right into filming. Because um, I had it on earlier, but it just kind of wore off, you know. Okay, so like I said by the title, I'm going to be talking about this awesome concealer palette that I received, or I did not receive it, I bought it. Um, so sorry about that, I get super confused. I'm like dumb. Um, but anyways, this is what it looks like. Um, now I ordered it, I'm not sure of the exact price right off of hand, um, but I think it was like $3.00. It was very inexpensive, and I was like, you know what? I am new to the whole cream contouring thing, so let me just buy a cheap thing and see how it goes. I mean, if it sucked, like, clearly I wouldn't know what the heck to do, so I would, like, go and buy something else. But this is actually really good. Um, so I received it in the mail in, like, a, uh, I was going to say a purple envelope. No, a, um, the bubble-wrapped, like, packed envelope thing. You know what I mean, like the the, ye the yellow ones. Um, and then it was in a box like this, and it doesn't say anything on the front. And I can't remember the brand, brand either, but I purchased it on Amazon. The link is down below to go and buy it because I really recommend this if you are new to contouring um, and you don't want to spend a lot of money on like the higher end ones because you're like, what if this doesn't work for me? Or what if I don't like it? Which, in all honesty, you guys, you can literally return anything you buy at Sephora, anything you buy at Ulta, but, you know, if you're kind of, you know, budgeting yourself on makeup or something like that, or you need to save money in order to buy it, and then you're like, oh, what if I don't even like it? So I just wasted this whole month of, you know what I mean, trying to save for this. You know what I'm saying? So, and also, just to see if cream is going to work for you. I mean, all cream formulas are very different. So I'm not saying that this one is going. This one is exactly the same as all the others. It's definitely not. Um, I thought this was going to be the size of like a Coastal Sense one, um, but it's actually smaller than that. But it's kind of great because it's pretty much the size of my hand, um, and it's great for traveling. I feel so. Anyways, what I liked was that it had all of the ingredients on the back. I'm not sure if it said that on the on. Amazon. I couldn't think on, on Amazon or not. Um, so if it didn't, here is a list of ingredients. So guys, just go ahead and pause the video right here to see if you are allergic or none of this will work for you. Since it is cheaper, um, you might be thinking, what's in it? So um, it has mica, and I know that's a number one ingredient, and I know a lot of people are um, allergic to mica. So... I just wanted to let you guys know that that's in there if you are one of those people. Um, I don't know if it's cruelty free or anything like that. If I do find out and look into it a little bit more, I will have that information down below for you as well as the exact price and the listing for it on Amazon. Um, but let's go ahead and get into the palette. I'm going to be doing a blog post so that will also be down there because I want to swatch every single shade for you guys. Um, just so you guys get the feel if it'll work for you, if it won't work for you. Um, I would say if you're any lighter than me, it probably will not work for you just because for um, concealer. But it probably will work for you, yeah, it would work for you for contouring, but not for concealer. Um, they're, the lightest one actually kind of matches my skin tone. So, but it does brighten. So that's just something to look for. Um, so anyways, here's the palette. You get 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15. What? 12, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, yeah, okay. So you get 15 shades in here. I don't know why that was so hard. Um, so you get 15 shades. Three of them are not, like, skin tone shades. You have a highlighter in here, a green um, correcting color, and a pink correcting color. Now, if you're not sure what the green is for, which 
maybe you already know. I'm just going to refresh your brains for a second. Um, the green is for any redness you have on your skin, whether it may be a breakout or you just have redness um, on your cheeks or something. Helps with that, and I actually do really like it. And it's not like a bright green, and uh, when you put it on your skin and blend it in, it doesn't really look green at all. There are some out there that like, oh my gosh, there is green on my skin. And then when you put your foundation over it, it's like, it looks kind of funny. Um, and then the pink, if you're not sure what the pink is for, is for any dark circles you might have, or maybe you have dark spots or something like that on your face. Um, and that's been really good to me as well. I put that um, under my eye. I don't have dark spots, I have dark circles. And I put that under my eye and then I've concealed. And that's the way I like it. But today, it might get ready with me, which will be coming soon, don't worry. Um, I actually didn't. So, like, what I'm wearing right now is the full coverage concealer, and it's really nice. I will show you. Um, my glass is off. An itch. Every time I have an itch, I just always pat because I don't want to, like, itch off my makeup. Um, but, yeah, normally it's a, it's just, it's covered, and it's, like, pretty much full coverage. So I really, really like it. Um. And then the shade, I swatched some others because I was trying to figure out what should I use for contouring. And the one um, that works for me is on the top row at the very bottom, or the very end over here. So this is my contour shade. Um, yeah, I would use that as contour. I've been using it as bronzing for right now. Um, you can't really see it because I just did really natural bronzer, but in the video, and that get ready with me, it is so in-depth. Um, but yeah, just look for the, um, the get ready with me, and also just go check out the blog post, because it's going to have a lot more, it's going to have just in-depth, like, up-close swatches for you guys that I think will be super helpful. Um, and I also use the highlighter today in here. It's very nice to work with. All of these colors blend out. It's very subtle. It's not like going to give you this dewy glow. Um, but all the colors are great to, um, use. They all blend out perfectly. I would definitely recommend on using a synthetic brush for these because they are creams. So what I've been using, um, this is the concealer one that I've been using. Just this, like, I always call them paintbrush foundation brushes, but they're just like the ones that nobody likes. And I just literally just kind of swirl it in there and then pat it underneath. And then I take a flat top kabuki, which this is in a review, and just like kind of tap it and kind of buff out edges, um, which you'll see in that video. But I'll there will be more information about that probably in the blog post. And then for like the color corrector, I literally just use one brush. Um, this is just another one of those things that we don't really like to use as foundation brushes. Uh, one side I use for green and one side I use for pink and they haven't gotten mixed together and it's really not a big deal if they do, just don't get them mixed together in the pan. Um, but like if you get it, if you get pink and green on your under eyes, it's not really going to matter because this green isn't, um, you can't detect it once you've got foundation on. Um, but guys, I really recommend it if you're just starting out or even if you're not starting out, <coughs> this is a pretty good excuse me, I have to cough or something. This is a really good um, concealer palette. Now, there is no mirror, so if that's what you were looking for, it does not have a mirror, clearly. Um, but I've already hit pan on this, and I feel like I might be using too much or something, but I just, I go a little bit concealer crazy. But you can see there's kind of, that's how pigmented it is. It's just like a little sneak peek. But it's pretty much, this one is my skin tone. So if you're any lighter than me, it's probably not going to work for you unless you can find one that has lighter shades. But, I don't know. So, that's that, you guys. If you did enjoy, please give it a thumbs up. Check out all the links down below, where to buy it, my blog post, and all the other um, reviews coming. Or, they're probably already up on the same day. Uh -huh. And I will talk to you guys later. Again, questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me down there, wherever. Bye, guys.